And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more legendary Lab of Legends. We're going to have misfortune to start the day off today. We're going to be recording a couple of these, hopefully, you know, hopefully three, Misfortune, Riven, and Lucian. But uh, we've gone through some, you know, like it's, these can be tough. Like we'll go through and, and end up losing, especially like Riven is a difficult one. But we're starting with Misfortune. Misfortune is one of the easier champions to go through as you all know if you haven't if you've uh this is the first time watching one of these over on youtube so i'm making a playlist with the legendary mode on all 20 of the champions uh so there this will be uh, if you're watching this later and this is uploaded it's going to be in the playlist with all the other ones so if you want a, a guide for any specific champion for your lab of legends you'll be able to go through them but this one today we're going to have misfortune so looking at misfortune's deck we're going to have a lot of one drops. Prowling Cutthroat, Jailbreak, Jagged Butcher, um, Island Navigator making a one drop. And so therefore, I think because you have all of these one cost allies, I think that the best passive power for Misfortune is Yip's Genius. And yet this one is maybe the, this is this is either the first or second best power in the entire game between this and Mana Flow. That you use in different champions and i always like to use a you know unique powers when i can but this is kind of a guide to to help you win these and so if you are struggling with misfortune or if you want to use the best power for misfortune this is going to be it so this is what we're going to show off today of course you can always challenge yourself you can you can uh, not use your rerolls you can um you know find you know try out different powers stuff like that uh, but we are going to be using yips genius today to go along with misfortune so here we go we got our uh, nine games to go through. We're going to start with the spiders. Evolution. Yeah, evolution's really, really good, too. That's that's probably, like, power number three. Evolution should probably... I don't... I may use evolution with, with uh, Lucian. Get okay, evolution. I've been kind of debating on what to do with Lucian. Um... There's a few different options. There's like, besides besides evolution, evolution. There's out of the gates that allows you to start with a two cost unit in play. So you could start with Lucian in play. Also, just mana flow, so you can just cast Lucian on turn one and then cast cast Senna on turn two. So. It would be better to like play, like a you know just play like blockers and stuff first. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just cast that Mega Rain, get rid of two of these. I don't want to take any damage. I think we're gonna be fine. Wow, you had... Okay, so Ninjal says, I, I was doing a Lucian run yesterday. You started with Evolution, then you got out of the gates second. And then they all have Overwhelm for the third one. Yeah, that is awesome. That's a great run. Um, I think we can take one extra point of damage. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I can block the 2-1 instead of the 1-1. One, one. I think we can take one extra point of damage. Just keep a little bit more health on these and don't have them die to Vile Feast. Well, I'll go ahead and do that. These Mega Rains are perfect for this level. Alright, we'll get some random one-cost followers. Just never know, they could have Scout. Can they even have Scout? Maybe they can't. I mean, the random one cost follower is going to be better than higher gun. Alright, so that's lethal with the elusive. Alright, so we're at 27. Pass the spiders. Nice, giving Tonks that one line with double out of the gates and having a Lucian that was a 5-4 and had attack nab. 
Okay, this is always a key. Which Who's going to be our other champion? Now, they have Sivir in this. I didn't even re completely realize they had Sivir in this. Yeah, I guess we've used Sivir before. But man, that is awesome. So obviously, we're going to take Sivir. So the most important thing is getting more one-cost allies. Treasure Seeker and Armed Gearhead are two one-cost allies. We could kind of take either of these. But Victor's pretty slow and takes a lot of mana. Not really what we're going to be all about. Our deck's all about attacking. Sivir loves attacking. So we're going to take Sivir. And if we get any any kind of other buffs on these one drops to turn them from 3 power to 5 power, we could get Reputation enabled super fast for that Inner Sanctum. Alright, we only want one, one cost allies and champions. We're not keeping anything else. They, always, they usually lead with the Hapless Aristocrat right there, so having this elusive is really nice. Good to get through that. Alright, Jagged Butcher is a 4-4, four, four, and that's good enough for me. Let's just get the random one drop instead of playing the other Jagged Butcher. Okay! The only unscarred reaver was a 2-5. Well, hopefully we have just like this hand every single time. Of, uh, you know, triple one drop, misfortune, sivir. We'll just take that every time. I think like the best power we can have is round start rally. That's going to be the power that I'm going to be looking for. Round Star Rally. Uh, I guess. I guess I'll keep this thing alive. Oh yeah, my my dot my, my dialogue volume was down because of. I felt like something was missing. Got yeah, all hospital field. I pushed it down because of the sound bug for whenever you're selecting um, your champion. Like misfortune has that sound bug. Yeah, Misfortune's one of the easier champions, I think. I think just if you have the champions that have great one-drops and you use Yip's genius like this, these are the easier runs, in my opinion. But still need to have a sure video for each one. Me. See, that's why we had the dialogue volume down, because of that sound bug. Okay, so we could give them Challenger plus 2 plus 0 or plus 1 plus 1. I'm just going to give plus 1 plus 1 to Misfortune. That sounds good enough to me. Sure, you can handle me. Not really. So every time we've activated plunder this game, so I only have like Jagged Butcher to activate plunder. So I think we're taking the Sharkling. Sharkling's a one-cost ally. Sure, you can handle me. And one-cost allies are really important. Yeah, that's true. I could have just take, gave gave Sivir Challenger. That's pretty scary. That's true. That's true. I think that Sivir is going to be a little slow for my run. We're going to be really just focused on the one drops and attacking with them. And you know, it's a misfortune run. I want to have more misfortunes, but yeah, you're right. So you think in giving Challenger to misfortune because of the allies' attack ability? Um, I guess. Let's see if we lurk. Okay, so they do not get to put a two-cost unit into play this round with the Vault of Helia, so that's good for us. That's not bad. Hmm, 
Now they get to put the two cost ally in play. Oh. Why did that not... I guess they don't have a two cost ally in their deck. They must have drawn them all. Harvey's just laying. You can see her. See, she's just laying there, like right up, like right on the cool wooden floor, and <laughs> just somebody's outside doing some yard work, but she just just laying there, just barked a couple of times, like too lazy to get up, <laughs> like too tired to get up, but just sit there. She's like, all right, I'm doing my job protecting the house. I'm barking. It says reputation, or sorry, countdown one. I'm gonna put on this elusive. Maybe buff it up even more. Hmm. All right, I guess I'll just give it quick attack. Or I meant challenge. Sorry, I'll give it challenger so, so the four one blocks it. Um. Open wide. Sure. And then that will, uh, you know, keep my misfortune free. That will. Oh no, that dies. Never mind. Doesn't trade. Barbie doesn't get buffed, but that's all good. All right, super fast run so far. What if we get another Yips genius? That's never happened before. Sure, you can handle me. Allied buffs except barrier are permanent. Um, don't really have any buffs. It's an epic. Usually the epic powers are great, but we don't really have any buffs to make permanent. Could reroll, but I think I'm just gonna take the sparring student. You know, we do have Yip's genius already, so we get three three sparring student at the beginning of the game, and then plus you know it grows whenever we play stuff. Sure, you can handle we're me. We're just gonna take that, and we're gonna take double trouble to get two random one cost followers. Sure, you can handle me. We are not sure, Miss Fortune. So yeah, this run's going great so far. So far, so good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's all you need. Just need your one-cost followers, and we got a lot of them. Oh, the What's up, Aroas? How's it going? Look out for Fight the signal fires. We're going to try to get more of our champions concluded today with our series of getting... A video with every champion. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Sounds good. Let's mage to your conservator. That's a good one. Looking for trouble. It found you. Hear that? So that takes out the barrier. Oh no! We didn't get the little bunny from that. The bunny would have been, um, yeah, it would have been a three-three also. This attack's pretty healthy. Get him down to four already. We still have a full board. Not and ready. Arrows at the ready. All right. Well, 
That's how it goes. Okay, get some scouts. Alright. Alright, we'll just take it. No, there's a new champion out now. I, had not, I did not see it. No, we'll check that out. New champion reveal out. Sure, we'll check that out after this it. run. Um, let's see. What do we got? Poro snacks on the quicksand. So we get the random one cost Poro because one, you know, Poros, you know, one cost Poros are awesome with with uh, Von Yip's genius. So that's kind of the leader in the clubhouse. I think I'll just take the quicksand. Yeah, I think I'll just take that. Sure, you can handle me. Could use a reroll there also, but eh, don't really need to. Um, we could draw a card with double trouble. It's not the best, right? Like, I'd rather have, you know, like, you know, I'd rather have stuff on my champions or, like, the other one-cost units, but I guess we'll just go with this. Sure, you can handle me. Get another copy of Double Trouble. Because it's just such a good card. Three spell mana. You can play it on round two. You get multiple one-cost allies that both have plus two, plus two. We may not even use a reroll. All right, that's not going to be very good. We do not need Make It Rain against the Scars. Go get the shiny okay, so the Avalanche will have their Unscarred Reaver be able to trade with one of mine. But obviously we'll just take that. Like, you know, we just got this sparring student for free, so the sparring student just traded with their card they got for free and an avalanche. Not bad at all. Yeah, I guess that's true that playing Misfortune isn't a good idea against Scars. That's a good point. Because the uh, that one damage enables the scar grounds. Ooh, got a lurk. So I know that they can block. Yeah, they can block that three three. But I'm not too worried about that. This thing doesn't have overwhelm, so it'll just trade like with the three three. I'm fine with that. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you don't believe what we found today. Find your own. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. And I think we just open attack with I guess I guess it, kind of the question is why even open attack? We're gonna have Sivir Spell Shield anyway. Destruction feeds my fire. The winter's claw strikes. A fight. Okay. Got through that one. Now we're on to Sedwani. Making this run look pretty easy. It is not this easy with some of the sure other champions. You can handle me. So Desert's Wrath puts in two one cost out you know, one cost sand soldiers. So those are you know things that would get hit by the Von Yip's genius. And so for as far as random spells go, um, might as well take it. We could draw like four random cards sure and pick you a card. Can handle me. Alright, we'll give tough to Sivir. Sure you can handle me. That's true, could use the box against turrets. That's true. Okay, with this level with Sejuani, Sejuani can be difficult. Killing Weirding Stones is, in, is of the utmost importance. You really want Weirding Stones to die. We've got two four fours. I'm 
Unfortunately, they're too smart. They don't block. There we go. Success. Get you noticed around here. That will help us kill Weirding Stones. Alright, Double Trouble. T1 drops plus draw a card. Elixir Vine would save either way, but this cannot get Brittle Steeled. Or all the rest can get Brittle Steeled. Is <laughs> Silver still not leveled up? Yeah, they, okay, yeah, they just have Flash Freeze and Fury of the North. For Sejuani, yeah. Alright, so an open attack... It's probably good. Yeah. I'm we'll gonna do that. Alright, that's 13. They were at 12. We are through Sejuani, heading on over to Tilt Over and Zon. Let's see what our last power is going to be. What we sure got? you can handle me. Little buddies? Come on. Little buddies? This just isn't even fair. Sure you can handle me. This just isn't even fair. I hope we get some of this luck with some of the other the, the like the other runs, which are going to be a lot harder. Like the misfortune runs already pretty easy. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go Sivir Challenger. Sure, we'll we'll do Sivir Challenger. Or misfortune plus zero plus two. I kind of like that too, actually, because sure, I want to just keep buffing up misfortune. Me. We're a misfortune deck. So we just don't have room for all these one-cost allies. Like, we're just going to not have room to play anything. Like, this just isn't, you know, we only have six spots. This is not going to be fair. So might as well keep, like, Quixian. Sanctum. I mean, might as well just kind of keep these kind of cards, because we just don't have room to play stuff. Play all the good one-drops. See what I mean? It's like, what are we supposed to do with all these? And no, I do not care that this is dying, because we're just going to get more Poros every single round. I even tried keeping a pretty poor hand with just like, you know, threes and fours, but with us drawing the extra cards with foundries, I knew we would draw our one drops. Alright, six power some treasure is gonna have me hold back. No, I haven't looked at the today's reveals yet. We'll look at it at the end of at the end of this run after these three Pilto runs on uh, uh, matches. Good, get some attacks in. 
We need stuff to trade. Oh, you're in for it. Uh -uh. Then I have room to play things. Ooh, crack shot Corsair. That was not bad. All right, so especially now that they leveled up, my Sivir, or now they attacked, my Sivir's leveled up. We'll go ahead and use these lucky finds on the Sivir. Maybe give Sivir more keywords, like Overwhelm. Uh, I guess Challenger. We want Overwhelm. Is Overwhelm one you can hit? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, this isn't remotely fair. Oh, that's a great part about labs. There's, yeah, these caustic casters don't even block to do anything. All right, so we're still at 27, heading on into the turrets. So this is where, I don't know, the turrets are going to be our most difficult one, most likely. Sure, you can handle me. Okay, I'm going to just take... Well, I guess we could have one mana quicksand that then gets a Poro. Do we want that or do we want this Treasure Seeker being a 6-3? Six, 6-3 three. Six, three Treasure Seeker is pretty cool. So it's one cost quicksand. I feel like we have just tons of units sure, anyway. We don't really need me. more units. I have like a quicksand just in case. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah, this is a misfortune run. We're not even going to use a reroll. Definitely don't need it. They gave us little buddies to go along with Yip Genius. I like the Treasure Seeker because it's a 4 3 matched up with the Heimerdinger. I know I could play Cutthroat. And Heimer couldn't block, but I kind of want the Heimer to block, right? So I, I want to try to see if they will have Heimer block. We have too many little buddies. Yeah, basically big elusives or overwhelm or something like that would be like the only way we lose, so just getting quicksand. Because we can't we can't possibly lose to anything else. Obviously I don't need two random one cost followers, but I, that card draws a card, so just taking it to draw a card. pretty good Doom Keeper, but I guess, I mean, see, I didn't even need to play that, because we're going to get this other Poro right here. Yeah, I mean, I just covered this thing. I right, cover this up. Alright, so it's going to be attack number two and attack number three. Good. I was worried the 3-2 would block the Misfortune. Glad it didn't. Alright, they're down to 10. <laughs> the 
The only way, like, at least we didn't get round start rally, right? At least we didn't get that. How can I help? Yeah, I'm glad they're not killing Miss Fortune. That's pretty good. I'm happy about that. Happy to do whatever's needed. All right, and level up Miss Fortune. Yeah, Wind Siver. All eyes on me. No. Misfortune. 59 out of 30 on round 7. It's pretty awesome. Just Siver to level up could be twice as much. We'd still just have it. I guess we're only putting them down to one. They're not dead yet. Inner Sanctum. Get some more keywords on uh, Siver. Mm. No misfortune. We have one more draw. We can draw misfortune. Oh, we just get the four six. All right, let's get overwhelm. There's overwhelm. And I don't know what else. We already got quick attack. We already got tough. Or sorry, we had spell shield. We already got spell shield and quick attack. So I mean, and tough. Okay, we're heading to Victor. Oh yeah, I can cast the wrath for. He That's right, the wrath heals me three. I forgot about that. Desert's Wrath heals me three. I could have been at 27 instead of 24. Hopefully that doesn't cost me. Sure you can handle me. Not really. Alright, we'll get plus two plus two on this thing. That's just gonna make it a five six. Sure. Sure you can handle me. Alright, no rerolls. No rerolls needed for misfortune. So like I said at the beginning, you can challenge yourself. You can do, you know, you don't have to use the this Yip's Genius power. We're just kind of showing off. If you got Yip's Genius, it's a pretty easy run, especially whenever you hit. Uh, <laughs> then you also get Sparring Student for a free 3-3 three, three that grows at the beginning of the game. And then uh, uh, Poro Snacks or whatever that one's called. Little Buddies? Little Buddies, that's what it's called. This is going to be a quick run. So we got our two 1-drops for next round, then Misfortune, then Island Navigator. And this is going to be, I think, our first time doing a Legendary run where we just didn't even use a reroll. Usually I just will use the rerolls for something. This time we didn't use any reroll. Yeah, little buddies can, yeah, it can give you that, 
um, lonely Poro when you're on the foundry and just clog your hand with another one. Still worth it, but yeah, that can be not the best. Um, Got a lizard and a shovel. I guess if I went, I guess if I blocked with the five three, it'd be at one health. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cast Misfortune's Champion Spell, Mega Rain, and have Misfortune finish this game out. There we go, that's Misfortune, uh, Legendary Lab, <laughs> easy one to start off with, 34 minute lab run, easy one to start off with. Okay, so if you're sure looking, you can handle me. if you're looking for an easy lab to do, you know, head on over to Misfortune, grab Yip's Genius, and then just focus on, on acquiring more one-cost allies. That's the other thing is like we did a like our reinforcements. I didn't use any rerolls, but we got really lucky early on in the process of just getting more and more one-cost allies. We got you know like these Sharklings, the Double Troubles. We didn't really need Desert's Wrath, but got those and Treasure Seeker, right? Like, Treasure Seeker was key for us the whole time. So, like, just getting Treasure Seeker, Sharkling, Double Trouble early on uh, really helped out that run, especially the Seeker and Sharkling. And, yeah, just made that even easier. And so, there we go. There's another one in the books. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave those comments and let me know. Uh, if you think this is the easiest champion to play, may maybe it is, maybe not. I don't know. Like using like Fizz on y with the Ups Genius can also be pretty easy. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it here though for Misfortune on Legendary Mode. Uh, make sure you he head over to the playlist where you can see all the rest of them. Uh, putting up all 20 champions over time. I think we're at about 12 or 13 of the champions finished up now. So you can uh, go check those out. But that's going to be it here, though, for this Legendary Lab. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.